Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. In tonight's video, I just want to talk about Lightning Networks and a topic that's pretty relevant of late. We've seen um, Litecoin activate segregator witness a while back and obviously more recently Bitcoin as well. And this all comes down to those scalability issues about how we upgrade the network to a point where they can allow for more and more users and more and more transactions per second as we see this all go mainstream. So Lightning Networks are possible without SegWit, but extremely complicated. So now that Litecoin and Bitcoin have act activated SegWit, it basically upgrades the network to a way um, that allows easily for the implementation of the, the Lightning Network, which is instant and zero fee transactions between individuals. And I'll talk about exactly how that works. So we obviously saw Litecoin have a big run up in price today on the news that they'd successfully sent that first transaction over the Lightning Network, instant and zero fee. So Jack Mullers sent Charlie Lee 0.01 Litecoin. So how does the Lightning Network differ from the blockchain and the payments that you're probably used to? So traditionally, when going over the network, Alice wants to send Carol some Litecoin she broadcasts that transaction to the network. The miners verify that. She pays a fee to the miners and Carol receives that Litecoin and, and that takes time um, for that block to be confirmed. Now, how Lightning Networks differ? So basically think about it as two people um, agreeing that they're going to do business or transact with each other and they both have to deposit or lock up some Litecoin. Now, this gets made... Um, possible by multi-sig addresses and time locks. So think about it as two people um, signing an agreement that they, they're going to transact over a given period of time and then at the end, those balances are going to be settled, redeemed and reconciled on the blockchain at, at the end. So made official, I guess. Now what this allows for is Alice and Bob to transact back and forward um, instantly with zero fees as they conduct business. But what it also allows for is creating channels further down the line so even though Alice and Carol might not know each other if they both know Bob and have a, um, a channel open Alice can pay Carol instantly with zero fees and obviously as this network grows um, you can pay further and further on down the line and this all happens off the main network so no miners involved no fees involved and no fees until the funds move from that payment channel where they've been locked up and the final balance gets then reconciled on the blockchain at the end. So that's obviously why I've seen a bit of pushback from some of the miners um, because they will be processing less transactions um, as more transactions happen through these channels instead and that means the miners are going to get paid um, less in fees but this does allow for that mass adoption and mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies to, to really blossom. So the only thing that's a bit of a worry here is there's going to be some degree of centralization. So a lot of people thinking that this is probably what's going to look like, you know, being able to lightning pay anyone through any other of these channels. But because you do have to um, lock up or deposit um, some cryptocurrency for this to be possible, it's most likely that we're going to see some degree of centralization with larger amounts being locked up um, in a, like a centralized hub as, as it's shown here. Um, and to the degree to which that centralization is going to occur remains to be seen, but um, it's probably not going to be um, as efficient as a lot of people might be imagining, but it's still a great development. Um, exciting to see. It's fantastic that Litecoin have been able to successfully implement this um, only in alpha stage. Um, obviously, beta soon to come, but they have successfully sent that first transaction and we all hope that uh, Bitcoin can obviously successfully implement that in the future as well. So I hope that's a clear explanation of what Lightning Channels are. Um, please give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, share these videos around. And as always, guys, Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.